At number six is a truly unique race bike. It's fast, furious, and built by one man. It's John Britton's V1000. John Britton was a man obsessed. The Britain is just two fingers up to the whole motorcycle industry. Everyone that's ever got their hands dirty working on a bike has dreamt of making one. They've dreamt about creating a motorbike, and John Britton actually did it. In the early 1990s, John Britton, an engineering genius from New Zealand, stunned the world with a race bike that he built in his garage. The Britain is a unique machine because it, it just shouldn't have ever happened, really. In the 1990s, it should not really have been possible for one man to take on whole factories and defeat them. The V1000 won repeatedly through its racing career. It did this not with the fastest engine, but because it was the best designed bike on the track. There's a lot of room left in motorcycle development. It's not, not even begun to stop. And I think that he was one of the guys that saw something different and was actually able to transfer that to a living beast. Remarkably, Britain built the V1000 from scratch and constructed every piece of it himself. John Britton looked at the whole bike from top to bottom. He didn't just take one element. He, he really looked at the whole thing and said, how can we do this differently? Is there a better way of doing it? To make the bike faster, he had to make it lighter. But the problem is this can make the bike weaker. Britain had a simple solution. He threw away everything that wasn't necessary. And if he could make one component do two jobs, he did. So the engine unit has got the back suspension bolted onto the back of it and the front suspension bolted onto the front of it. And effectively, the frame doesn't exist. There is no frame. But Britain's most innovative idea was to use carbon fiber to build most of the bike's components, just as strong as conventional materials, but less than half the weight. So you're always looking to make a motorcycle better. You're always trying to anticipate what it wants so you can go faster. So you're always looking for the, the last split of a second. The V1000 weighed just 145 kilograms. That's 25% less than its nearest rival. But to make the bike even faster, Britain redesigned its suspension. Ferociously fast and extremely well handling. It just left everybody else in the dust. The V1000 raced against the greatest bikes in the world and beat them. It's the most successful independent racing bike on the planet. He made a bike that was clever, beautiful, and really fast. It may not be the best motorcycle on the racetrack, but it's his interpretation of what the best motorcycle should be. Such a romantic story. That's what I love about it. It's just this idea that one man can make a motorbike and it can win. But the V1000 has a tragic end. John Britton passed away after a short illness just three years after building the bike, and the revolutionary technology died with him. It's our sixth greatest ever motorcycle.